I'm here with Ryan Cullen. He teaches the foreign language component in Vantage TEFL certification. Ryan, I'm a little confused. Why do you need a foreign language component in a course that's training teachers to teach English? Well, it's to put you on the other side of the desk. It's to put you in the shoes of the students, right? So, uh, you know, a lot of our candidates might come from English speaking countries and they don't have any experience learning a second language for the first time. So this really puts them in the mindset of their students. It helps them understand the motivation and the dedication it takes to, to learn a new language, right? Which um, sometimes might not be easy for you to consider when you speak in, you know, you've spoken English all your life, you know? Um, but it, it also gives them a couple of key phrases that they can use in their day-to-day -day life here in Thailand. They're gonna be in Thailand for at least a month a lot of them end up staying here much longer than that, so why not learn a couple of phrases while you're at it? You know, stuff like Taurai, how much, or Baikin Khao Gan, you know, let's go get something to eat. These are phrases that they can kind of take away with them and they can use um, during their stay in Thailand. That's one aspect of it, and that's something that is uh, kind of general to a lot of TEFL courses, but what we do here at Vantage is we add a little bit extra. <laughs> we, um, we have a cultural component as well. You know? um, look, you're not gonna learn a language in such a short amount of time during the TEFL course, but you can learn about Thai culture. You know? um, not every aspect of it, but the key aspects that will help you um, be in the Thai mindset, right? Stuff like thinking about why Thais do what they do, why Thais think the way they think. You know, we go into all aspects here. We talk about you know, Thai religion. Um, you know, we go into how to greet people. Um, you know, how how Thais view politeness as being very important. Um, you know, even ed, uh, other etiquette like dining. Um, but we also talk about um, you know even spirituality and superstition. You know, we go through all aspects of it. Um, one example. Um, that uh, a lot of people might not be aware of is that it's bad luck to write someone's name in red ink, you know, because red is kind of synonymous with crossing out or canceling. So if you write someone's name in red ink, it's uh, it's considered rude or, or giving that person bad luck. And that's something that our teachers aren't aware of. But once they know that, they know to avoid doing that when they're marking tests or quizzes, you know. Uh, that's that's like an, uh, maybe an obscure belief that uh, might be hard to find on the internet or, or YouTube. So, you know, we, we, we try to give them a kind of a well-rounded um, insight into Thai culture and the, and the Thai mindset, which a lot of our graduates have found invaluable even after they graduate and they start to teach at Thai schools. Ryan, thank you very much. You've given us some very interesting food for thought. Thanks again. No problem.